it's Diane Beavis here, the training director for Hyperware, and we are in week four of our four-week series. This is an exciting one because it's our challenge series. So what we're going to do is there's a lot of great programs out there that are using challenges to really push your clients to really bring out that competitive spirit or that inner athlete, and that's exactly what we want to do today. And so what we're going to do is we're going to go for 30 seconds for demo purposes, but what I want you to know is check out the uh, written part of the blog so we can get some suggestions on how to challenge your uh, clients for a minute and different metrics that we're looking for. And what I mean by, by metrics is we're either going to challenge by the number of repetitions, how many you can get within a specific time frame, which is what we're going to do today, or it may be something with you know, how long it takes you to actually complete something. It's creating that challenge that they can come back and try for their personal best uh, when they come back in, whether it's a week or a month from that same time, okay? So what we're gonna do is, again, we're gonna use uh, the lower body movements, an upper body movement, uh, rotary stability back here, we're gonna go through that, and then a locomotive movement to create a great challenge circuit where every single station, we're counting our reps and working towards our personal best. Okay, so Eduardo is going to show us the triple extension slams. Okay, so a good rep, and this is what's important, is what you're going to tell your clients to make sure they get a full good rep that you can replicate the next time is going to be able to uh, go grabbing the sand ball from the bottom, get all the way up into triple extension, heels off the ground. You should see some space between your head and the sand bell. That's one good rep, and then slam it on the ground. So every time you slam, boom, that's one repetition, okay? Then we've got the rotational push-up. So we're going to get some great challenge here where he's going to touch down, come up onto a single leg. You have to turn all the way over on the sides of your shoes for that to be a com complete good rep. He gets all the way up over his shoulder, one, comes up all the way through, two, every time he touches his chest down on that bottom position, that's one good rep, okay? We got Carol back here. We're gonna go for a via. So she's gonna start all the way back and all the way extended every time she has to touch her toes, okay? For one good rep, comes all the way back, sand bell touches the floor, heels touch the floor. That's one, two, and three, just like that, okay? Then we've got Jordan here on the locomotive skills. So she's gonna go the icky shuffle, two in, one out, Every time you get to the half ladder is one. So she's coming back for number two. And the reason we do that is so you don't, don't get caught in a half repetition when the time stops. So it's really challenging that pattern and good foot speed, okay? All right, guys. You ready to get started? All right. Yep. All right? We're going to go for 30 seconds. Everybody's giving it their best. And go. Good. Counting the reps. Awesome, good movement, all the way through, good extension, we got great work back here, we're halfway through, that's just halfway, all right, good movement, good movement, keep it going guys, keep it going, doing your best every single day, and stop, good job, what do we got? 17. 12. 18. 11. All right, we're going to go to the next station. All right, obviously this is very, very challenging. We could take every single station, and that's just one good challenge that you may use with a client, and if you really want to challenge them all the way through an entire circuit, that creates a, a, obviously a much higher metabolic demand. So that's another great option, is either singling these out, like one per workout, picking up one of these movements and challenging them on a Monday, a Wednesday, and then a Friday, one movement each day, or we're going to put these all together for one great circuit, okay? So we're going to go again. Ready? And go! Good job, guys. Good extension all the way through. There we go. Good extension on Jordan over here. Got good movement. We got Latif back here working hard on the V-ups. All right, Eduardo's getting a perfect position. Good form all the way through. Never break down on form. Almost there, guys. We got five seconds. Five seconds. Give it everything you got. All right, all right, and stop. Good job. What do you got? 16. 9. 13. 11. Awesome. This is good hard work. All right. 
You can tell, and what you want to do for rest periods in between is if you're getting a true uh, time on each individual circuit, take at least two minutes before you start the next station, all right? But if you're doing the entire circuit together, it's literally just 10 to 15 seconds to get to the next station. All right, you guys ready? Yeah. And go. Good job, good job. 10% body weight on the sandbells on the slams. So if you've got somebody 115, 120, you've got uh, 12 pounds on the sandbell, that's a perfect weight, 10% body weight. And obviously we're challenging them today, they all have their hyper vests on as well. Good job, good job guys, good strength, good form. All the way through, almost there, almost there. And stop. Good job guys, what do you 19. got? 19, 8, 8, 19, 10. All right. Woo, you guys are moving. All right. Last one. Last one. Good. Nice deep breath. Make sure they're recovering. All right, you guys. Everybody's good? Okay, here we go. And go. Good job. Another version, perfect example of doing the, the single leg, single arm reach. We can adjust that to make sure that everybody is successful and we can still measure it and challenge her on the next one. Good job. Great movement. Great movement. Doing a great icky shuffle all the way through. Good slams. Almost there, guys. Yeah, five seconds. Five seconds. And stop. Good job. What do you got? 18. 7. 14. 11. All right, guys. Woo. You can see what this is like. It's a lot of fun. Great challenge. These guys did a great job. And we that's our fourth week of our four-week series. See you next week for something a little bit different.